Hey guys, welcome back to D and D Beyond for this dev update. Uh, uh, it's dark mode, man. I'm, I'm so excited. It's so slick looking. It's here. You guys have been asking for dark mode since the dawn of time. I don't know if uh, you were being ironic or not. I don't know if you really wanted it. I don't know if it was just a silly meme, but regardless, you asked for it. You got it. Dark mode's here. Super excited. Uh, we're going to bring uh, uh, Julie and Nathan. Uh, who helped put this sucker together and bring it to life and turn it around uh, actually really quickly for us. It's pretty impressive. We're going to bring them on uh, to answer your uh, sweet, sweet dark mode questions. Uh, but before that, we will jump directly into the roadmap. I want to make sure I'm valuing everybody's time. Obviously, available right now uh, under dark mode is what we're calling it, actually, under dark mode. Uh, which is kind of amazing, and I love it. Um, and also, as uh, as we move forward, before I get any further, uh, remember, uh, if you want to ask a question, just uh, type question before your question, and I will uh, I will make sure that we do our best to get to it. Um, again, two pre-orders right now, The Wild Beyond the Witchlight, available for pre-order. That is D&D's first sort of like official venture into the Feywild. It's going to be super cool. Uh, and then uh, Strixhaven, A Curriculum of Chaos, also available for pre-order. That is the next uh, Magic the Gathering setting in Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, Sanguine Dice, uh, available now. That is our, uh, that's our June uh, subscriber perk. We're going to push it uh, into July since it was a little late uh, getting out to you guys. So again, uh, these monthly perks are just sort of little additional treats for our monthly subscribers. Um, uh, D and D Beyond, you know, obviously uh, free to sign up for for basic uh, subscribing, get you early access to tools. You can create unlimited characters. Uh, you can share your content. Uh, you can share your purchase content with your table, which is pretty rad. And then, of course, uh, we have these uh, these monthly perks in the form of digital dice, character portraits, and backdrops. Uh, so make sure you uh, grab those because they're pretty sweet and uh, they're kind of gross, and uh, and I sort of love them. Um, mostly programming updates uh, today before we get into dark mode. Um, and then uh, we are on uh, episode three this week of our House of Lament uh, watch along. Amy, Melly, Michael, and I played through uh, House of Lament, the adventure in Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft. And uh, currently we're dropping it on YouTube every Friday, uh, premiere style, so that we can actually uh, hang out in chat with you guys uh, and watch along uh, with you. Uh, talk to you about... DMing, playing, favorite sandwiches, no topic is off the table uh, in that chat. So, uh, so please come hang out with us. That'll be, uh, that'll be tomorrow at 4 o'clock, uh, or if you're watching this on YouTube, Fridays at 4 o'clock. Um, in progress, uh, coming very soon uh, for the Encounter Builder, the ability to save and resume combat. Uh, we are, we're turning a corner on that, so that will actually be available very, very soon. Um, and that is kind of the, the, the calm before the storm uh, this summer. Uh, that, that is all I'll say. Uh, but I'm, I'm pretty excited about the rest of the year. Uh, that moves us into, you know, again, our 2021 goals, which we want to keep communicating to you guys uh, and, and being transparent about. Uh, you know, even if you don't, like, see a million things on the roadmap right now, there's a million things in progress and going on. And that includes catching up on our character sheet feature backlog. Um, that includes the universal feature system. Uh, the universal feature system, again, is... Uh, uh, I'm not sure if it's officially renamed the universal feature system yet, but uh, let me tell you, it used to be called the generic feature system. One of you was like, that's a horrible name. You should call it the universal feature system, and I think it has caught on, so well done, well done. Um, but what that system is, again, is, you know, boons, dark gifts, all that kind of thing. It's, a, it's going to be a new process where we can uh, really quickly apply uh, new features to the game like that, not just the ones that currently exist, but you know, uh, as Wizards continues to uh, come up with new feet, uh, new versions rather of uh, of those uh, of those character buffs, uh, we will be able to really easily add and implement those with the universal feature system, uh, so that you don't have these wait times that we've seen, you know, uh, from uh, from features from Tasha's and stuff like that. Uh, so we're super excited about that. We think that that's going to really, really turn 
uh, a lot of that around, a lot of those wait times around and really add a lot of uh, value uh, for our community. So we're super excited about that. Uh, and then the continued integration of our shared play space, the riddle that I say out loud every week. What does it mean? You'll find out. Um, <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's see if you guys have any uh, questions for me. Um, as is the expectation uh, for me to ask, Aaron Lore asks, uh, as is the expectation for me to ask, so when are we getting under dark mode everywhere? So I'm assuming uh, that you mean, my friend. Um, when are we getting it on campaigns and when are we getting it on the combat tracker and the encounter builder um, it, sewn in our eyelids so that we see everything in under dark mode? Uh, that's a great question for Julie and Nathan, probably. Uh, it's currently, you know, sort of the, the, the default uh, existing mode on mobile and uh, again, rolled out on character sheets uh, today. Aaron Lore, how dare you? How dare you just uh, throw that wrench at us right now, just out the gate. I thought you were on our side. Uh, I think the, the short answer is, I don't know, but uh, we will find out in just a moment. Um, Grumpy Dungeon Masters has already resumed, uh, has already moved on to, um, are there any plans for a grayscale color mode for D&D Beyond JK? Um, oh boy, we just discovered the new meme. Uh, Grayscale win question mark. I expect to see a lot of it next week. And uh, here are the people who can introduce and uh, explain when grayscale uh, will actually happen because it's it's the feature you guys have been really waiting for. Uh, let's bring uh, you guys know Julie, uh, but let's also introduce Nathan White onto the show. Uh, everybody, uh, give these two a, a lovely warm welcome. Hey guys, thank you for being here. Thanks. Hey Joe. I'm excited. Hey, so uh, so obviously we want to we want to really jump into uh, uh, dark mode. We're super excited about this. It looks really really slick. So first of all, well done. Thank you very much. It's it's super super cool. Uh, and uh, I was hoping uh, as we get into it and demo it a little bit, I actually have my home game character uh, Radwell Nert uh, opened up here. So I've got I've got yeah. his uh, him activated in dark mode. Uh, he is my um, he is my artificer who I recently multiclassed into an Echo Knight, which I'm pretty excited about. He feels very overpowered, but I love him. Um, so uh, I'd love to just chat with you guys a little bit about, you know, sort of the, the, the process, the origins, how you guys put this together, all that good stuff. Julie, the floor is yours. Great. So yeah, so thanks for introducing Under Dark Mode. Uh, it's been something that we've been so excited to reveal and give to the users and the world um, because we wanted it just as bad as you guys did. <laughs> so um, so yeah, I mean, this, this has been a kind of a long time coming. It's been an ask that we've seen repeatedly and we were finally able to get some time to work on it because uh, here at Fandom, we do hackathons. Um, so uh, if those who don't know what a hackathon is, it's an opportunity for us as developers to sort of work on um, like passion projects that we don't normally necessarily get a chance to work on. And dark mode was definitely a passion project. Um, so, and Nathan was a huge, uh, I would say like pr pusher leader to make this happen for hackathon. So I'm gonna uh, pass it over to Nathan to introduce himself and talk about that. Yeah. Uh, hey. Uh, it was uh, something that we have all seen in the Twitch chat uh, forever, uh, ever since I've watched dev updates, is the dark mode army uh, flood uh, that comes in uh, every <laughs> once in a while, uh, which is great to see, but it also, uh, it's hard when there are other things that we're working on that are super cool and super important, like rules support for things like the like domain cleric. Uh, it's hard for the business to say, let's slice some time away for you to actually do this. So it's cool that we were able to do it in a hackathon. That was, uh, I totally put that idea out there and a bunch of people jumped on and was like, yeah, let's make it a reality. It's a, it's a super fun process to watch because, uh, you know, again, just a, a little more behind the scenes on, on that happening. Uh, I think, is it twice a year, once a year, once a quarter, um, twice, but, uh, twice a year. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's a manic day and it's, 
it's super fun. I think it's what it's like you guys have like a couple of days to kind of actually put everything together and basically like put together like a 90 second presentation. And then on the day, uh, all these different teams and it's not just uh, uh, DDB, but, you know, uh, that's what we're here to talk about, you know, but, you know, from all across, you know, uh, fandom and, and all that's and all these teams that focus on different parts across the company all come together. Uh, everybody does these like 90 second to two minute presentations. And it's like you guys said, it's such a cool way to like, I think, um, really put passion pro projects like in front of company leadership uh that you know in their day-to-day -day, they're absurdly busy they run like a multi-million dollar company in fandom so you know dark mode isn't necessarily going to like trickle upwards easily right uh, you know onto onto their day-to-day -day. but like with the hackathon all of a sudden they just see this like really slick presentation that you guys put together and how just cool and pretty it looks and they like get to hear the need and uh, yeah so it's a super crazy day with all sorts of bonkers stuff and I, I feel like it i mean more on this later in the year but i feel like it bore a lot of fruit for D, &D beyond uh this year um are there were a there any like times, particular oh go ahead julie oh a lot of times hackathon projects end up sort of getting shelved for like we'll come back and do this at some point but because this one was such a, a cool feature and because we know that it was asked for, we, we got the feedback from you all and we made the space for it. We were able to like take the time after the hackathon and actually polish it up and make it a reality to, to get released out. So that was a really cool thing to see like uh, conception to finish and have that process actually be pretty quick, like you said, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they give us 48 hours uh, to get stuff done. Uh, and with people working on passion projects, you tend to work later into the day. Uh, so we were stay staying up late, uh, hacking stuff together, and we actually got the majority of it done. So I think that's kind of why it was just like, all right, let's just finish it up and ship it. Yeah, it, I mean, it definitely feels like one of those weird, like, uh, college group projects where... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's like okay red bull and we're gonna stay up all night and just get the sucker done it's it's kind of nice um okay let's uh we we'll, we'll kick off with uh with this question you guys uh my Pashode asks uh, uh i love the dark mode for character sheets and very much appreciate that this much asked for feature has finally materialized personally the sheet was never the issue for me as a forever dm that spends all my time browsing items monsters and the compendium let's rip this band-aid off first uh, when are we getting more? You know, when are there going to be plans for the full compendium uh, to be in dark mode? Is that even possible? I have no idea what kind of lift would even be required to do that. In a uh, world so... where all of D&D Beyond is dark, <laughs> under dark mode. No, we, we want to get to that world, right? Uh, so, yeah, there there is um, there is plans as far as we we are. We want this to happen. So we have it sort of as a, um, a, a project that's not necessarily on our current roadmap for the teams that work on the compendium and the marketplace and everything else. Uh, but we're gathering, starting to gather some feedback about under dark mode on the character sheets. Um, so look forward to in that feedback portal where we're gathering that feedback, there to be more opportunities to give us feedback about compendium dark mode, account level mm -hmm. dark mode controls, um, you know, all, all the stuff coming down the pipeline and, and into the rest of our apps. So uh, keep your eye out for a place to actually put that feedback in, give us your thoughts about that, and we can make sure to get that prioritized into our roadmap so that it's available, you know, across the whole site for everybody. Amazing. Yeah, no, that, that feedback form has honestly been uh, been a, a really cool game changer for us. Next big question. Melly DM says, do you miss me? No, Melly. Yes. Today's your day off. You're on holiday. Happy Canada Day. Please stop watching work while at home. <laughs> I Melly, miss you, Melly. Visiting... I mean, I, I do, do but stop visiting your teachers on Saturdays. Melly. <laughs> Go, go outside and play or stay in. I think it's very hot where you are, uh, but you have a giant board game wall. Please make use of it. We love you very much. Uh, um, uh, let's see here. So, uh, so yeah, we've got this, this sweet, sweet sucker. Uh, is there anything on the character sheet? Uh, Cause really, I just kind of want you guys to be able to take a victory lap. Is there anything that like you're extra proud of, or you're like, oh man, that came out so much better than we thought it would, you know, anything like that. 
I, I think the overall look, honestly, I, I got to give props to Jason Nyquist, the designer who did all this really quick for us uh, during the hackathon and uh, kind of got this look together. Uh, and mm -hmm. as we were building it, we kind of got distracted with theming character sheets and doing frames and backdrops and themes that all looked really awesome together. Uh, yeah, it got addicting. I mean, it's super slick. Like, this is actually my first time, you know, obviously, like, I've been putting together, like, the videos and stuff to support it, but that was all just footage from you guys. And this is actually my first time, literally my first time playing on it. I switched it on before we went live. And so, yeah, so I, man, this looks really cool. Um, uh, super excited about it. Uh, let me, let's see here. I'm tr looking through uh, some uh, some of our fan questions today, but I also want to be aware that you know there are questions for you guys and not say for pat or for andrew um this is interesting this is from a benign squirrel and this might not be something that you guys can really super talk on but we can at least sort of talk in uh generalities right uh can we eventually get updated magic item labels uh to span all official items so I'm wondering if he's like meaning uh, like levels of uh, magic items, you know, legendary, rare, that kind of thing. Yeah, I would be curious to get a little bit more clarification on this one, to be honest. Um, we do, well, I mean, currently we're doing a big research spike on inventory management as, uh, as you all may be aware of. And so we are looking at things like how do our items function? And, and so, um, mm -hmm. Yeah, in order to fully answer that question, I would want to get a little bit more clarification. Uh, Benign Squirrel, if you could get a little bit more clarification and give us a, a forum post or a um, some kind of you know feedback about that, and then we could get that question answered for you. Sweet, sweet. Yeah, uh, and uh, we, we talked a little bit more about inventory management last week with Pat. Uh, so because there's some questions in here, uh, you know, about the bag of holding and containers and stuff like that. So uh, we went into detail with Pat uh, about that stuff uh, last week. So make sure you check that out. But the, the bottom line is, you know, a, a lot of that is in the works right now. And so, you know, stay tuned. It's, it's not on the, uh, you know, my sort of like official little uh, roadmap right now. Uh, but it's in the works and uh, pretty excited uh, for for what's coming. Uh, I've seen a little bit of, uh, of what they're working on, and it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, Casey Media Productions asked, this one might get you guys in trouble. I'm so sorry. Um, are you able to tell us uh, what both of you developed for, uh, for the hackathon? Or hmm, are there any other, like, cool hackathon projects we saw that we can even talk about? Um, we could talk about, this is the second one in a row that our team has shipped, actually. Uh, so one of the other ones that was done last hackathon uh, is an admin only tool, uh, so you all don't see it, uh, but it is a character resurrection uh, tool that allows us to restore deleted characters. Um, but we were able to ship that uh, for that hackathon. And then uh, for this hackathon, we both worked on uh, dark mode, uh, which was super fun. Uh, Julie was actually on vacation during the hackathon, uh, but she uh, totally uh, worked on it afterwards, all the way up, cleaning everything up, because uh, uh, she knows the most about the character sheet code. Uh, she's the veteran. Um, but I don't think they're were any I don't that think we there's... can actually talk about. Yeah, there's going to be, yeah, there's some more that you're going to hear about sooner than yes. later, but uh, not that we can actually uh, talk about. But uh, again, there's there's really, there's something really fun about the vibe of it uh, where, you know, we have sort of like our official sort of, hey, here's everything that everyone's working on. But then like twice a year, you guys get to just like kick a door down like rebellion style and just like, no, I want this stuff in here. Like, here it is. You know, it's it's uh, it's it's pretty, pretty great. Like, it's such a fun, like, who's coming with me kind of moment. So there's a few things uh, that survive that you guys are going to start hearing about uh, pretty, pretty soon. Um, and then, of course, um, uh, let's see, we've got a couple questions about like 
DM shields and stuff like that. Uh, Desertin asks, um, are you planning to add things that gather the things DMs need in one page? I'd love to be able to watch all my players in a campaign uh, in a list, which is current max XP, spell slots left, uh, that kind of thing. Currently clicking between tabs a lot. Uh, we've talked a, a good bit about this uh, actually in the past two weeks, both with Pat and Andrew. Um, uh, uh, both of them have some pretty like kind of cool interesting thoughts in in terms of like the kinds of problems that this sort of screen uh ought to solve um and uh so what 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 I, what I can say is um you know at least at like a conceptual level uh that is sort of being looked at and and thought about cuz yeah again uh please continue sort of being loud with that request and and sort of letting everybody know what you want out of it and all that good stuff and it's just going to keep helping them really like form uh what that needs to be um hey you know i brought you guys here to talk a little bit about dark mode um uh but we've done that and now i think it's time for k silverbow to ask you guys the second most important question of the dev update um which is and julia i know you've answered it many times but you got to answer it again um what is your favorite dinosaur and why is it your favorite dinosaur uh nathan's our guest we'll give him a moment to think julie you're an old dinosaur favorite or pro let us know <laughs> at this point i should know the name of the dinosaur that i keep saying is my favorite <laughs> but i, I never want you to, to remember the name of this dinosaur. i refuse it is the spitting uh, neck flappy dinosaur. That is the name of it. And that is my favorite. The Dilophosaurus. And I want you to lose that name immediately so that next time you're on, you're still saying it's, spitty flappy. Even, um, <laughs> the best part about the Dilophosaurus is that the sign language that it, that you give, I'm like, I know exactly what you're talking about. You know, the guy with the, yeah, yeah. The jazz hands dinosaur. You know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> still Triceratops from this guy, Nathan. Your favorite dinosaur? Uh, pterodactyl. They're like the original bird of prey, uh, which is just awesome. Plus, I think it was Lost World where they go into the area with all the pterodactyls that are loose, and mm -hmm. it's a great part. Of it's a good sequence. Uh, no, not, not Lost. Sorry, uh, Jurassic Park three. Uh, yes. Which I uh, I only remember because that's like the one good sequence in Jurassic Park three. <laughs> yeah, but no, when it's like it like. Kind of like clicks across that bridge and like walks on its wings and yeah that's a super super cool it looks scene super hey, scary and you're like oh man love it yeah no so good pterodactyl solid answer three very solid dinosaurs uh uh for you guys um and uh, you know i don't one shot with these as our our dinosaur classes we really do um we really do need to have just like a good dino saucers or even just dino riders uh themed uh D, D campaign uh dungeons and dinosaurs i think should absolutely happen i will email someone at wizards and uh and see what i can do um but hey guys in the meantime we talked about the uh the other two d's that are almost as important as dungeons and dragons and that is dark mode and dinosaurs thank you both so so much uh for being on today uh thank you guys so much for uh for being here hanging out watching with us we truly appreciate it uh we hope you enjoy dark mode under dark mode sorry i need to get that in my head we hope you guys enjoy under dark mode uh it's uh, as you can see it's really been just sort of a passion project and a labor of love uh these two and their team lost a lot of sleep uh to bring it to you hope you guys enjoy using it messing around with it uh it looks sleek as hell i'm super stoked about it uh we will see you guys next time on the dev update. Thanks so much. Be safe. Be nice to each other. Bye.